Let's wind back the clock to 2010, when Hyundai put a model on sale called the i45, a model that was almost universally criticised for having suspension that just wasn't up for Australian conditions. The company rushed through a series of changes that helped it handle local roads before putting it back on sale. Now, five years later, Hyundai has a new mid-sized car on sale. It's called the Sonata, and this time, Hyundai says it's right from the get-go. Confident in the car's abilities, Hyundai took us to the west coast of Tasmania, home to some of the most demanding roads in Australia. We put the car to the test on roads occasionally used for the Targa Tasmania Rally near Strawn. Hyundai is selling the Sonata in active, elite and premium forms. We're testing the top-line premium model aimed at private buyers and well-established rivals from Japan and Europe. The car features plenty of toys such as heated and ventilated seats, a panoramic glass sunroof, satellite navigation and 18-inch alloy wheels. The car we're driving is the premium variant, which has a 2-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder engine that makes 180 kilowatts and 350 Nm, which is quite a bit for a car of this size. Now, the engine itself is a fairly smooth unit, it's very tractable, makes great power on the road and really gets around without any fuss. It's great on hills and when overtaking, and if you have a bit of a punt, it's fairly fun to drive. The engine has two downsides. One is its fuel economy. Using more than 9 litres per 100 kilometres, it's a little bit off the pace compared to some rivals, such as the Mazda 6 and Toyota Camry. It's also quite loud. If you listen here, as we kick it down, when it gets higher up in the rev range, it has a fair bit of roar to it that isn't particularly pleasant. The road noise itself is possibly a bit of an issue here. We're driving on roads with fairly coarse chip tarmac that filters into the cabin quite a bit, but to my ears, it seems noisier than most of its rivals, particularly in the back. Now that new engine is teamed to a six-speed automatic transmission, which is the only transmission that you can have in this car. It drives the front wheels and it's available with three different modes, a sport, an eco, and a regular driving mode that affects the way that the transmission is programmed as well as the steering weight in the car. Now that transmission is pretty good around town. It's very smooth, gets off the line with no issues, and it's pretty much imperceptible with the shifting. However, when you press on a little bit, it really can't keep up with the engine. It down changes on the exit of corners rather than on the way in, which is basically it's a few steps behind the driver most of the time. And another point of annoyance for the transmission is that it doesn't have shift paddles, the sort of thing that are becoming standard on models such as the Passat and the Mazda 6. Now the Hyundai has a great driving position with a wide range of adjustment for the steering wheel and the seat, which is managed by electronic controls down by the floor. It also has preset memory arrangements so that if there are a couple of people sharing a car in a household, you can set the car up just how you like it and then save that so that every time you get into the car, it's just where you want it to be. Now, the car has a fair amount of room, particularly in the rear, where there's heaps of legroom and it's a fairly comfortable place to be, even on long drives. Hyundai worked hard to revise the Sonata suspension for Australia during 100,000 kilometres of local testing before settling on firmer springs, thicker any roll bar and revised shocks to make it better suited to local conditions. And it feels pretty good on the road. We've driven it over some pretty demanding areas here, lots of bumps, corrugations on fairly broken tarmac and it's held up quite well with the ride being fairly settled despite imperfections on the road. While the suspension is quite good in the new Sonata, the steering doesn't hold up nearly as well. The steering is quite slow which means that you need to use more input than you might in other cars and there's also not a lot of feel through this electric system. When you pop it into the sports mode it adds weight to the steering but it doesn't really change the way that the car drives, it just makes it a little bit heavier to move the steering wheel around which isn't really convenient and it doesn't really add much to this feeling of driving the car. There's also a little bit of kickback on bad bumps in the mid corner and, uh, and we found a little bit of torque steer too when accelerating from rest putting the turbo to its full use. On the whole the Sonata is a capable car, one that's ready to handle what most families will throw at it. The locally developed suspension tune is excellent and it presents strong value for customers too. Hyundai has come a long way since the i45 of five years ago. If you want to check that out for yourself, the new Sonata is on sale now.